how to use mats to figure out which is the best pool to stake your ADA. Because when I first did this, it was so confusing. There was literally so many pools. There was like fees percentage. It was weird how different pools had different sort of uh, percentage on how much you would earn. Some would be 2%, 5%, 7%, but then they would have more fees. So I put together a calculator and I'll show you guys a strategic way on finding the best pool to go with when it comes to staking your ADA. This is an unbiased video. I'm not going to be going ahead and promote my own pool. So here's the tutorial. All right, so I've been trying to figure out what the best pool to stake my ADA in. And I was just like really confused for the longest time. I didn't know what to pick. I didn't know what these numbers meant. And that's exactly what I'll be breaking down for you guys today. All right, so as you can see, I've created this calculator. There's two things you need to look at. The ROAS, the return on ADA state. The cost, which is basically the total fees. Um, and then the final ROA. Now this is a formula. ROA multiplied by one minus cost. So you can copy this formula. Um, the letters might be different based on where it is. Uh, but you can simply copy this and what that means is you want to put in for example let's do go i'm going to put in the lifetime you always want to look at the lifetime roa because that's more consistent 5.41 now it's actually decreasing because this is getting pretty full the bigger the stake it gets oversaturated um, and, and this allows for no sort of Monopoly is like there isn't one pool that just has a massive stake. So let's put in the lifetime for now. The cost is 3.38. So the final ROA would be 5.23. And you could basically do this with everything. Let's do say the second one. Uh, let me, yeah, let's delete these numbers for now. So 5.24. 2.888 so this is 5.09 now what I like to do is I like to sort by most lifetime as you can see you get these 84% 42% returns and these are basically just new sort of staking pools that just got lucky they have very little amount of people they've gotten lucky somehow on their first epoch um, epic they just got lucky um, so what you want to do is you want to really put on an advanced filtering and put in a stake of like three million this will filter out all the small ones these are all like they're very tiny so submit and three million can only come from time and support and um, people sort of really supporting it now it's processing. Now everything here is over 3 million. Now, oh, it's 5 p.m. Something like this where it's 12%. The fact that it's dropped down to 3.88 shows that it's not consistent. Um, plus the cost is like 18.98. So let's do it anyway. So let's do CBS. CPS is 11.81, which is this number, putting the cost of 18.98. So yes, it has the highest one, but it also has the highest fees and it comes up to 9.57, which is really good. This is a really good final ROA, but like it's weird. Why is it such a difference? Like let's open this up. Let's go to blocks. So you can see, yeah, it's, it's been consistently getting blocked. It's just gotten unlucky for the last few times. Let's go to rewards. Let's see if they're new. See, look, they're very, very new. They've only been here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're like new to the game. And, and when they're this new, it's a bit, it's a bit risky because the numbers aren't final. It's really skewed. Let's open up this, this, and this. Now let's all jump straight to rewards. 
as you can see, these guys have been in the game for much, much longer. Now their pool is pretty small where they're sort of getting rewards every time, but they've had a good run recently. Yeah, this is actually really pretty consistent. Husk pool, one page, this is pretty new. It's only been getting rewards as of recent. Uh, but it might keep it up, who knows, but this is pretty new. And another two pages. So two pages would mean there is 39 entries, 39 times five days, um, 40 times five, that's 200 days. So I think two pages, like if you have like 30 plus entries, that's something that's probably pretty good. So I'm gonna take away Hosk. So we've got AHL and Core. So let's look at Core. So core, on average, it is at 7.55, 12.89, final ROAS, uh, ROA is 5.89, next would be HOSC, no, next is we want AHL, AHL, 7.4, but then the cost is 15.17 so it's 6.29 so besides CBS which I think it's too small it's just too brand new ADHL this has been the best like not only is it consistent it's big there's 45 million they're consistently their returns are really high the fees are really low um, so I really like um, ADLT, like it has high returns despite having a pretty saturated pool. So yeah, that's why I went ahead with ADLT1 because it will provide like a nearly 7% return on investment, which is insane. And yeah, that's how I went ahead and picked the best ADA pool. Like I was spending hours today just trying to understand it, figure it out, come up with the formula. Like I wrote down a bunch of like scribbling using my max knowledge and hopefully this saves you a lot of time because every time I watch a video about this on YouTube they would just advocate their own storage pool so it's so biased so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video peace and yeah that was the tutorial hope you guys enjoyed it let's go ahead and announce last video's winners for a thousand dollars worth of courses or consulting course with me the winners here if you guys want to qualify or they do is drop a comment below follow me on Instagram hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell like this video and I'll be picking the best comment every single video other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys tomorrow with nothing but more value. Peace.